And we are joined by Brad Davison, the former Maple Grove standout and University of Wisconsin guard. And uh, Brad, March Madness was a little bit different this time around. Uh, what what went through your mind when you found out that, first of all, the Big Ten tournament and then ultimately the NCAA tournament wasn't going to happen for your Badgers? Definitely not the madness uh, we all envisioned and expected. Um, it's still a little bit of madness in its own right. Um, you know, it was a kind of a roller coaster of emotion. Um, we were coming off, we ended the season very, very well, winning eight in a row and winning the Big Ten regular season. So we were kind of confident, full force, ready to go. Um, and then we actually found out as we were just about to go to practice before hopping on the plane to the Big Ten tournament that, uh, you know, our season was most likely over. So definitely a whirlwind of emotions. Um, very emotional time that we, my team just kind of spent a couple hours together in the locker room with all of our coaches, kind of everyone in our program, just kind of reflecting and comforting one another during that time. I remember thinking when I heard the NCAAs canceled that that was like one big sign that, wow, this is bigger than maybe what a lot of people thought. Was that sort of the way you guys felt about it too? Definitely. You know, I think you heard kind of a lot of, different reports coming from different news outlets on kind of uh, the severity of the threat or of the virus. Um, and, you know, I think whenever whenever kind of our country or our nation or the world going through something, we always kind of have sports to rely on and to, um, you know, take our mind off of things for a while. And then I think once that kind of got taken away too, um, I think that definitely um, got everyone's attention, especially us in the sports world. And what's it been like at your house? Are you going stir crazy? Are you getting uh, getting a few shots up in the driveway, or what's been happening? <laughs> I'm trying to stay busy. I'm trying to maximize the time. Um, first and foremost, I'm really enjoying the quality time with my parents and with my family. Uh, we don't get a whole lot of that during the four-year basketball career, being away from home. So trying to soak that up, um, and then just trying to stay as busy as possible. You know, there's no weight rooms open, no gyms open. Um, Thankfully, I have a sport court in my backyard that I go out on uh, once or usually twice a day in the mornings and at night. Um, and I have I made a little workout plan and training plan for myself that I go through. Um, and then a lot of a lot of basement workouts, <laughs> basement workouts that our strength coach has sent us to do. Um, so just being creative and trying to make sure that you know this isn't necessarily a time where we have to put our whole life on pause. We just got to find new ways, um, new ways and purposeful ways to continue to improve and get better. Um, but outside of that, a lot of puzzles, a lot of card games to parents, a lot of movie nights, um, a lot of grilling and cooking. That's been really enjoyable for me. So, again, it's trying to maximize this time. Obviously, you didn't get a chance to, you know, pursue another title in the uh, either the conference tournament or the NCAA, but did it at least ease the sting a little bit to know that you you were a champion in the regular season and, and like you said, came on so strong and at least had, know that this will go down as a Big Ten championship team for the Badgers? Definitely. You, know, I think you, you put a lot of time in and you sacrifice a lot to um, put yourself in the position um, to ultimately win a championship, whether that's regular season, postseason, NCAA tournament. Um, and that's ultimately why I went to Wisconsin, um, to chase those championships. So to have one underneath our belt, to get a ring, um, to send our seniors out right to say, maybe not as right as we would have wanted, uh, you know, it's super special. Your old team, uh, the Maple Grove Crimson, qualified for the state tournament here in Minnesota but didn't get a chance to play. Do you still kind of follow them or as best you can or stay in touch with the program a little bit too? Oh, all the time, both football and basketball. I'm always talking to Coach Schroeder and our assistant coaches and then Coach Lombardi and our assistant coaches. Uh, it's been awesome to see their success and kind of the tradition that they've kept there um, over the past couple of years. always good to check the scores after games, see how they're doing, or give Coach Schroeder a call and ask how the game went. Like some of the other stations, we've been do doing some classic games, and I know uh, some of the games that you played in at Maple Grove, have you had a chance to kind of catch up and, and see a few of those too? Yes, sir. Actually, last night we watched our section final game in 2017, so my class was senior year against Rogers while we were eating dinner, and that was that was super fun to watch. Uh, we had a, I was texting a bunch of my teammates who were watching it from their house. I was texting my coaches talking about the game. Uh, it's funny because it seems like so, so long ago, but also it seems like it was just like yesterday. You remember every play. You remember, oh, I should have done that. I should have done this. Uh, at the same time, it also feels 
uh, like a very, very long time ago. Brad, thanks so much for joining us, and best of health to you and your family and your past and present teammates, too. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.